Day 302, 22 for 22. Good morning. I hope this finds you well. Please stay in your fight. Don't quit. Uh, well, just stay in the fight. Uh, if you've been stuck in a rut and you got things that you think you need to fix, work on a plan to fix them somehow. Consult with people that have, a, have knowledge of what's going on with you, whether it's uh, a medical professional, uh, a mental health professional. Um, could be a, any number of things that, uh, that can influence your decision making process to come up with a good plan. Use available resources. Uh, use friends, family. I mean, don't use them, but use them to help, uh, help come up with a plan and help execute your plan. You're not in this alone. Um, you got brothers and sisters that are, that are riding in the same, same boat with you. So do what you gotta do and come up with a plan and don't go it alone. Um, just about everything is surmountable. Maybe not over the top and get through to the other side and be 100%, but every, every issue other than death is surmountable. And the thing is, is you want death to happen when you're 80, 90, 100 years old, after you lived a long and good life. Don't end it now. Um, just keep pushing. Never quit. Never give up your hope. Never give up your dream. Um, you keep working towards what you got to do. You take care of your family. Take care of yourself. Um, and not necessarily in that order. You may have to take care of yourself to be able to take care of your family. Um, I know if... Are you okay? No, oh, it's not like you wiped out, dude. Um, but just make sure that you take care of you. That way you can take care of your family. And once you've taken care of yourself, then you can put family first as far as that goes. I mean, don't be an asshole and just totally shut everybody out till you figure it out. Because if you got a family, you got responsibility. But you can put you first to get you handled. You know, go to go to treatment if you need to, if you have an addiction or need a, um, your PTSD has got you to the point where you need to be impatient to get right. Um, you do what you got to do, plain and simple. But you got to come up with the plan first. To you have to have an objective. It's kind of I hate to say it. There's so much that it can relate back to what we learned and learned and did in the military. There's always an objective to our training. There's always an objective on the battlefield. There's an always a, in a uh, objective in in our deployments that are not combat related. There's always objectives, and then there's minor objectives. You need to. I wouldn't say plan your life as a military mission, but use the fundamentals that you learned there to come up with a plan. What? What'd you do? Good job. He just scraped the crap out of his ankle. What? He just scraped the hell out of his ankle. Um, but just uh, stick with it, have a plan, work the plan, adjust the plan as necessary, and get to where you need to be love of my life and there's the joe say hi hi's it buddy yeah ham all right whoa oh, you haven't done your push-ups yet no wait up you guys james get back here james i guess i have to hurry one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. One for the airborne ranger in the sky. One for the infantry. One for the fall. What? You guys need your knees to run? Yep, yeah, I got mine. All right, so stay in your fight. Hi. Don't quit. Do what you got to do to be there. Hi. Be there for yourself. Be there for your family. Don't give up. Um, huh? 
If you need help, seek help. Don't find a permanent solution to a temporary problem. There you go. Now, get it from friends, family, professionals. Do what you gotta okay, do. Be to here tomorrow. <sighs> Tough out. Tough out. What she said.